Like this is all down. And this is not a spring chicken. This is a actually this is a look you typically do not see because we're out in the kitchen. You see Well we've got our stuff piled and right there because we're really we're we're running we've actually ran out of space in this building totally. Mm -hmm. I mean we're fifty percent of the one shooting area is just all stuff. I mean we've got we've got a site wall, we've got a twenty foot long site wall that can't be ran twenty foot out anymore because there's so much stuff from um that we put together and sent them, I guess, mm -hmm. since um, January. Yeah. Yeah, and this is, so this is the, we're going to try to do you and show you basically how we go about putting one of her music videos together. But what happens is, is Chair Dog Music under, um, under Chris Wilhelm. Basically, he does, he creates the music and then I do the arrangements because, uh, and then, we put together a dance number to go to the piece of music. The funny part comes is sometimes I don't like the music that she's danced to. And I redo the whole thing. So, and then, you know, I'll take, I'll take something else and I'll put new music, I'll jig her new music into her dance movements. And you get what you're doing, you basically for months have just been seeing the first parts of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could see, um, what it is is the, uh, um, the Sea Rock Slide is the total finished product. It's the first really total finished music video we have. But that was done differently than most of the music videos typically are done. Yeah, totally different because what it was is she did the choreography to a song called Interceptor. Mm -hmm. And I did not like uh, the I didn't like the music with the dancing even though but it is she you know she's a choreographer. She arranges it, you know, I think what your background she studied ballet and all of this stuff, so Dance. Dance and dance. And then I dance. I mean, I've danced, I've danced in, um, I don't know, 50 or 60 different productions. Well, part of it is the choreography is done based on the feeling that you feel from the music. Yeah. And what happened was she really did, it is a really a nice piece of music. I mean, it was a good piece of music. We've been using it. It was not written for um, the Ford Interceptor mm -hmm. thing. The Interceptor was written for a SEMA, mm -hmm. which is the optimal, I you know. Uh, automotive after part markers thing. It was written for that, and then she did uh, the choreography for that. I didn't like the music that was went, uh, was um, put to it. So I basically um, I saw a point in the action where she where the choreography was because you you'd got it. You'd have to see how much video was shot. Just getting to the point that it gets to the point mm -hmm. where you're going to start working on the or add the finished product. I mean, it's just like, mm, 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 mm. and this time you're getting to see it from the, we're going to show you from the very beginning how it gets, and then the finished part you know, on, the, on the web series, which will be further down the line, is going to be the finished music video. Mm -hmm. Because we're basically starting it out, because we've got to have a bigger space to get the dancers into. Because we've got one, we have one bloody music video that's got, uh, he, she's seen it. it might, it's got like dance blue, dance yellow, dance red, dance two and three, dance four and five, dance one and six, dance red mm -hmm. and white, and basically it's it's like a, a hundred and fifty gigabytes of material all put together oh, no. to get to the finished product, which we really like. I mean, but um, you know, it's called Full Combat. That one is out, and basically I think like dance blue is out. We're going to put dance red, and all these pieces. Out, so you're gonna, you know, individually on the internet, just see all the pieces. But the, the, this one is also totally finished. This one is available for people, or you know, basically will be purchased. But um, the other one that we have totally finished, which is a lot of people like, is the Sea Rock Slide. Yeah, Sea Rock that's, Slide. That is my thing. Yeah, but Sea Rock Slide is going on the film festival circuit, so it's basically I can't. I know it. people wanted to look at it. It's like, well. It's yeah. So basically, what we do is we have uh, we have a small version out in 320 instead of the well, she knows the big version is 33 gigabytes in size. It's very large. It's huge. So I put we've got a smaller version out that they've been running in nightclubs, but they basically burn it out. But, I, but that was done. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we get to it because this one basically this one was written specifically for her because she had input on it because it's got oh my, what instruments we got. This well I put a didgeridoo in there. It's got a didgeridoo in there. Which is not normally an instrument that you would find in dance Yeah, music. we have special effects in there. We have uh, 
we have uh, acoustic guitar, we have drum, we have toms, we have electric guitars, we got the beat, you know, we've got, and then that's just the basis because you understand that there, this thing is a, what is it? It's uh, seven tracks and basically a, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, one, nine, it's probably got a hundred different instruments on this thing. A mm -hmm. hundred and seven tracks, mm -hmm. which is what I do is I do the arrangement. Because, I mean, like I said, this was a, she sat down because she wanted to do something, she wanted to do some choreography to something modern. She really likes modern. Mm -hmm. So but this was done to, we sit people here a little bit. <laughs> I can't read music, but I can arrange. Because I can put every, I took all these pieces together that was done by a person that can actually do the music. I stuck them together and mm -hmm. we come up with this. It is god awful huge. I mean, we're talking it. It's a really big piece. Yeah. Because you can hear all the different layers of music. It's just layer upon layer upon layer, and then audio effect upon audio effect upon audio effect. I think. Um, uh, we have a classic delay and an acoustic reverb, and done done on different levels because each each piece of the arrangement has its own it has its own delay and its own acoustic reverb. So that when we stop, you hear them. See, that's each one of the tracks. But this was done specifically. To her requirements, so that she, you know, generally, you know, okay, what like you said. Generally, I, I usually do not have as much input on the music. No. Usually, I'll say I need a piece of music for, uh, let's say, gifting suites. Yeah. And this is just your background. And then it's well, done like, for that. It's like, um, let me see what we got. Uh, see, open. Show you something else. This. Uh, okay, like this piece. Um, this piece was done. You know, this is called posing because she had a she's got uh, we had a posing suit. You know, uh, basically, uh, uh, like they wear in the uh, in yeah. the weightlifters fit, competition, right. fit competition. So we uh, we had the suit and we wanted to do something with the suit. So she did the choreography to this piece of music, which is posing. You know, this has got bass and piano, but my, many bass and many piano. Bass one, bass two, bass three, piano one, two, three, four. It's basically standard. This one basically because we were doing something, this is just called drum solo. Thank you. 
This is to an avatar. This was done for photography to an avatar. Isn't that great? really popular. This piece has been selected as a feature. This is a 3D video also for the next button. It's got a real nice blue you see to it. So. A little bit of taking of the old ivory that they say. That would also be, but this is, you know, because we do, we do, and we do a lot of animation. We do a god awful lot of animation. And uh, it's sometimes, you know, when they're not interrupting us on it, does she tell we're not in the room when the phones are in this room? Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, open project. But you're basically seeing how all this is done. There's a lot of stuff. They're like, well, no, no, we're not really seeing it because they can't see it on the screen. Uh, we don't need no, to see it on the no, screen. No, we got. Um, we'll tell you about it though. Uh, and this one, this one, she hasn't. This one basically been written for. She's got to get around to this one sooner or later. So because if we can only, there's only so many people to do so many things because I arrange well, but I have to. This is a simple one. He can arrange faster than I can play. Right? <laughs> Guitars. If we haven't done this one yet, this is a piece of music that's going to be coming up. This is going to be more of like, I'm pitching this as soon as it's already in one of the frantic Well, it is because it's a fast beat. You know, part of it is, is I can dance to it, but to choreograph and you remember what you did? Yeah. That takes longer. No, because what we showed you on the Sea Rock slide, when she's been demonstrating how it was done, like I said, this is a bad part, is that we hadn't given a whole lot of thought about doing something like this before. and we, It, it we, just got kind of created for the fun of it, and then yeah. it was really, really popular. Yeah, it got really popular. This was not meant to be. Uh, what people don't understand is that the slide is, even though know, people... You basically, so you're doing graceful stuff. The slide is not a country move. Mm -hmm. it's, it, the slide is the uh, 3D. We have a, we 2D and 3D at the same time on the screen. You can watch anything. You can see the same thing being done in 2D that's being done in 3D. Mm -hmm. And that's the slide. The slide. I, I make my slide. It can go any direction I want to make my slide go. It's our own, basically our own patented effect because there's nobody out there in the industry. They can put anything on the screen in mm -hmm. 2D and 3D at the same time. We so can. We can. And we're very good at it. So, but, uh, you know, <laughs> We do in-house choreography we do in -house and in-house music. Choreography and what else we got? We've got Christmas music, uh, The Interceptor, you know, what have we got? Uh, yeah, but we're going to have to get you singing because your voice is magnificent. You know, I know we do that a little bit. So, uh, well, and then we've done, she basically, um, Okay, we, here's one. No, we. Uh, I can't. If I can't find it right here, but uh, uh, where is that? Okay, what I did was I did the, I did uh, this one. I did. I did. We did choreography to the Long Beach Grand Prix last year. Mm -hmm. We basically I did a bullfight. I had it all pictured as the uh, autumn because what what we had was like uh, we'll tell you that um, that the, a lot of people said specifically that this was the best. The race was the best example of precision driving they'd ever seen. But I had to take, you know, we put music to it, I had to put something that basically fit the tone of no power, no way passing. So I put it to a bullfight. Mm -hmm. And that worked. Uh, we also have um, this one right here. This one was another thing, which basically... Um, you know, this one was done for the Rose Parade. This one was done for the Rose Parade. Which you know, which basically got dead, but we didn't get to cover the rose parade. It was done for the rose parade, so um, this one.
and it's like this because it was uh, I I took two and a half I took a, a two and a half hour parade and put it on in 19 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's the Rose Parade music because I'll score I'll score music to also what we're doing besides the fact that we're dancing. But mostly, you know, you're getting to see firsthand how this is done. This is. You know, sometimes the sessions are setting a lot of calcium we're sitting there talking about. But uh, the piece that we're going to do is called uh, that one that we're getting ready to do. Actually, it's the JC Boogie. And uh, the boogie, depending upon how it looks, if they're all in 2D and 3D. If I like the boogie, the, her choreography, you'll see the boogie as the JC, the JC Boogie slide. Well, not to mention that he might not change the, chor the music well, after he did the choreography. Okay, um, well, because part of it is is he'll change the music, so different things that I'm doing in the choreography will coordinate with it. Yeah, okay, so watch, I'll show you. Uh, <laughs> 